A hard-fighting man's man with a mouthful of chaw. NASCAR's number one driver from 1997 to 2010. Two apple fritters and a large fruit punch. Crazier than a bag full of rabid weasels. And with the kind of odor that will linger. He's got four of Evander Holyfield's teeth permanently embedded in his ear. And there ain't no better goat inseminator in all of West Texas. The onriest dang nab DJ you're ever gonna hear. And with a head of hair like Nick Nolte in an electrical storm. Ladies and gentlemen, you will give it up for Eric Paul Johnson. Live on Ustream. Yeah! And on that joyous note, let us get on with the show. So are you that long-haired hippie that's out there on the radio? Well, sort of. Listen to the story from Wednesday. A man who was wearing little but women's undergarments was allowed to fly on U.S. Airways Tuesday. A photo of the scantily clad man was provided to the Chronicle by Jill Tarlow, a passenger on the June 9th flight from Fort Lauderdale, Florida to Phoenix. Tarlow said other passengers had complained to airline workers before the plane boarded, but that employees had ignored those complaints. U.S. Airways spokesman Valerie Wonder confirmed she'd received the photo before last week's incident in San Francisco and had spoken to Tarlow, but said employees had been correct not to ask the man to cover himself. We don't have a dress code policy, Wonder said. Obviously, if their private parts are exposed, that's not appropriate. So if they're not exposing their private parts, they're allowed to fly. Joe O'Sullivan said after he viewed the photo of the cross-dressing passenger, they let a drag queen board a flight and welcomed him with open arms. Employees didn't ask him to cover up. He didn't have to talk to the pilot. They didn't try to remove him from the plane, and many people would find his attire repugnant. Tarlo, 40, who was returning home to Phoenix after helping her mother move, said she had been shocked when she noticed the older man in blue underwear and black stockings standing in the Fort Lauderdale terminal. Tarlo said the man obliged when she asked to take his photo. No one would believe me if I didn't take his picture, Tarlo said. He was unbelievable. And he loved it. He posed for me. Are you looking at the screen or are you just listening? Go look at the screen because I've got this guy's picture up there so you can see what, what he's wearing. You know, the 4th of July is just a week and a half away. And this picture just filled me with... Well, can we get some patriotic music for this? Okay, that might have been a little overdone, but that's all right. I cannot think of a more accurate representation of the freedoms that we have as Americans than that guy right there. Oh sure, we have the American flag and you can put up your banners and joining the military is, is always a great way to serve your country and show your patriotism. But this guy beats them all. What other country in the world could you go where you can walk through the airport, get on a plane, and fly across the country wearing women's underwear and stockings? Can you do this in Afghanistan? No! You'd be hung without a trial. You'd be hung on the spot if you're lucky. Saudi Arabia? Of course not. There's no place in the world you could go out in the streets dressed like that without being harassed by the police. Okay, maybe England. They are kind of fancy pants over there. And, and France, I guess. But in America, this is why we are the greatest land in the world. You can wear whatever ridiculous, insane clothes you want to wear, and you can go out in public. And there's nothing that anybody can do about it. Oh, sure, some people will say, 
that they shouldn't wear that or they don't like it, but that's the other great thing about this country. If we think someone's dressed like a ridiculous rube, we can say it. And it stops there. There's no stoning, no cutting off of body parts because you wore a bra to the store. That guy right there, this guy in this blue lady's underwear and black stockings and heels, posing as proudly as he should, is why our founding fathers and their tights and powdered wigs were fighting for the freedoms and liberties we have as Americans to dress like fools in public. So if you don't like how he's dressed, then you don't like America. If you think that it's tasteless or that it's repugnant, then you are saying that George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin Pierce, and all the other founding father hippies that started this country, you're saying they are repugnant. And I, as a descendant of Mayflower Pilgrims and people who fought in the Revolutionary War, will not stand for this. God bless this drag queen cross-dressing fruit bat, and God bless America! <laughs>